smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today, you guys already know, another video, another day, another grind. So pretty much, I'm getting my E90 back at the garage. I'm gonna be taking out my dad's Mercedes. He's gonna be really mad at me, but I have no choice because there is a chance that when I get the battery out of this car, I might not be able to put it back in. So worst comes to show, I'll be able to at least you know, have the car in the garage. Um, it's not gonna be sitting out there, no battery, and I can't do anything with the car. At least when it's in the garage, if I need to get things done, if I need to get some tools out to you know, get the, the metal or the frame pushed out, that's what I'm gonna do. A lot of you guys recommended a slide hammer or something like that to pull out the frame. Uh, some of you guys also recommended a hydraulic press. I mean like a hydraulic jack. I put it in there to um, push out the metal from the inside, uh, but in order to do that, I need to get the battery out. So what I'm, my, my goal is today is to just to pull the battery out and uh, just see how bad the damage is. Once I can diagnose that, we can go from there and try to push out the metal myself. So what I'm trying to what I'm trying to do is save as much money as I can on this repair because a lot of you guys even said that just throw on a bumper nor it really doesn't matter. I kind of care because if I ever want to sell the car, I don't want to tell me hey, your battery's stuck. You know that you can't ever get the battery out. That just sounds kind of janky. You know, it's like I'm buying you know a ten thousand dollar car, but it's super janky. I can't even get my battery out. If I got to replace it, what are you gonna do? Uh, so I don't want to. I don't want to put. I don't want to. It's really gonna kill the resale value. So without further ado guys, I'm gonna get this um, thingy McBobber out and my BMW in. All right guys, what I see is a mission. So we're gonna go ahead, open up the trunk. Um, I gotta really clean this out one day. Um, it's not that bad, I mean, but yeah, I gotta clean that out one day. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. Uh, probably just start working at the battery. And yeah, as you guys can see, that's pretty bad. And <laughs> every time I look at it, I just feel like it's getting worse and worse. But I mean, it's it's not looking too pretty. I'll show you guys how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to look like that. So that's a lot more beautiful. But hey, I keep telling myself that got me a fat check to pay off my car and it didn't affect anything to do with the car. It's just, you know, the battery compartment. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, stay positive here, try to take out this battery. Battery is in there, everything seems to be, everything works, I know that for 100% sure, the car wouldn't start otherwise. So, the only thing I'm scared about is the hose right there, I think it's called like a vacuum, some kind of vacuum hose for the battery, or something like that, I'm not sure what this hose is, but it's smashed in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and take out the, take out the support, take off all these mechanisms, and yeah, pretty much just try to get this battery out. That's, that's the goal for today, that's the dream, and if I can get that out, I'll be very happy. This is the holy grail, boys. All right, guys, um, I just got everything off of it. Everything's disconnected, but the battery, as you guys can see, is not coming out. So I gotta figure out a way, um, if I can bend it out a little bit from the inside and then just start taking out the battery, because if I can take out the battery, I'm pretty sure um, I can hammer it in from the inside, at least get a little bit out to where I can put back the battery in easier. So that's the goal, that's the dream. Let's hope um, I can figure out a way to get this battery out, and hopefully the battery is not damaged in any way. All right, guys, so car's already out of the garage. You guys are probably wondering, um, that was a nice try, right? No, it wasn't. I mean, I, I tried the best I can do. So basically, I realized when I, um, when I got all the things out of the battery, um, the battery itself is dead. So unfortunately, so imagine the battery is, you know, just a rectangle, right? And the, the accident was from right here. So it was dented in one, it was dented inwards like that. So I don't know if I can show you guys. Um, but basically this is the battery and it was dented in like that from the middle. So basically there's no way I can lift it out because the bottom of it is underneath the metal. Let me try to visually um, show you guys real quick. All right guys, just showing you a, a visual representation. So here is the battery, right? So this is the battery and the trunk, you know, the frames around it. Basically the frame got punctured in like that and over here but it went in like that. So basically on the side of the battery, seeing it visually. So now looking at the side of the battery, you got the battery looking like this. This is how it should, how it should look, but my battery looks like this. And basically the frame of the car is uh, pushing right here. So pretty much when I'm trying to lift this battery out, uh, the bottom end is hitting the metal. 
So there's no way I can get this battery out. And on this side, actually, it's pushed against the car. So there is no wiggle room. I can't move it back. You got pushed against the car, and the battery's punctured. It's not leaking, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up replacing it because that's not safe. Uh, but I'm going to wait for them to try to plot the frame because I thought I can just take out the battery and hammer out the frame. Um, but I don't think it's an easy job at this point anymore. Remember to stay humble, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. You know, you're all.